Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today I am doing a look inspired by a clockwork orange. So let's get started. To start off I'm going to prime my skin with the MAC Skin Base Visage. And I'm putting this all over my face. This is just a little sampler I got from my birch box. So I'm just going to use this to smooth out the skin and help set down our foundation. For my brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Fibers just to make my eyebrows look a little bit more bushy and dramatic since this look is a character look. I wanted to have really bushy brows and make them look really dramatic. And I know I don't have the clockwork orange hat, but we're making do. So now I am just laying this all down with a brow mascara, also from Maybelline. This is going to keep all of our little fibers in place, and these are both in the color Soft Brown. For my skin, I am going to be using a tinted moisturizer as I've been using quite frequently lately. This is in the shade Light to Medium from Olay. And I'm just going to blend this all out with a flat-ended sponge, not a beauty blender, like a kind of hoof-shaped sponge. I find this kind of blends out um, tinted foundation, or tinted moisturizer, I should say, a little bit better than a beauty blender does. So you can just kind of move the product around and blend it out a little bit easier and it evens everything out without making it really splotchy. So as I do this, I will tell you guys I was inspired by this look because I've been wanting to do it for a while and I didn't want to wait until Halloween to do it. And this is a really fun look. The movie is really dark, um, as is the book. So you, if you are not of age, I do not suggest uh, watching it. And if you don't like graphic content I would also not watch it. It has a lot of like murder and like there's some assault so it could be kind of triggering for some people but it's a really good movie. I recommend it if you're into kind of like psychological thrillers or old classic movies. So for my under eyes I'm just using a concealer. This is the Fit Me Concealer in Fair and I know I use this concealer all the time but it's the only one I have right now. I'm almost out so I'll have a new one. But I'm just going to put a little bit of this underneath to highlight and kind of mostly cover up the bags, not really highlight because we want it to just look awake. And the whole movie's really sinister, so that's the look I'm going for. So I'm just going to pat this out with the same sponge I used on the foundation just to kind of take away that overly bright under eye, just very awake and kind of like almost wired, I guess, is kind of the look I was going for. If you've seen the pictures of Malcolm McDowell in the movie, he's like really creepy looking, so that's kind of what I was going for. For my eyes, I'm just going simple, and I am using Jinxie Eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's just a gold shade, and I'm just going to put this all over my eyes. I didn't want to do anything too dramatic because the character is not like in a smoky eye. It's just the lashes that are the focal point, and I didn't want to distract from those so I am just spreading this product all over my lid and crease and I'm not putting any underneath my brow bone. For the eyeliner I am just using a liquid eyeliner. This is the NYX one that I've been loving lately. Also the only one I have so I have no choice. But I'm just doing a winged liner so that the eyes stay really open and dramatic and it's also a classic wing to go for a classic movie. I would say this is more of like a cult classic than like your regular classic that you would think of. So I am just creating a wing and filling it in with the liner. It's a pretty long wing, I would say. And then I am putting on some mascara. This is just a volumizing mascara to make my lashes look really long because the lashes I am putting on are quite full and dramatic and you will see those here in just a second. Sorry about that dinging. I just got a notification on my computer. So for the second part of the eye, or I guess it's like the third part, is the lashes, and these are the most important. These are the Ardell Double Up Lashes I've had forever and a day, and I put a lot of lash glue on them because they're super, super heavy, and I'm putting them on right at the lash line, and then I'm pushing them upwards. So it literally looks like a gear going around the eye because it's supposed to look like, you know, clockwork. So you can do this with the eyeliner if you want to skip the false lashes, but I'm just pressing this up onto my eye. You can see that it's going to stick up a little bit more, so your natural lashes will blend, but they'll kind of stand out. And the whole gear goes the entire way around the eye, so I'm using the other lash 
rather than putting it on my other eye, I'm putting it right underneath my bottom lash line. So you can coat them with mascara as well. And I am just pushing that up underneath so that it is right on the eye and looks like it is creating a complete circle. It's kind of hard on the eye to use false lashes and create the complete circle because you can't put lashes in your tear ducts. I'm sure they will invent that someday that you can have lashes that go the whole way around. But you kind of want them to meet on the outer corner. So it looks like this. So now I'm going to use a red lipstick. I guess I should have used like more of an orangey red, but that's okay. I kind of mix like a classic pinup look with the clockwork orange makeup style. So I'm just using a cherry red lipstick and it is a shiny one. This is from LA Color, so it's super cheap, but it works really well and it's super red. For my cheeks, I am using Soulmate from... Uh, what is this for? Oh, from Makeup Geek. And I am putting it pretty heavily on my cheeks. So it creates kind of a, I don't know why, but I think it made it look more sinister because you think like rosy cheeks are really sweet, but the eye makeup and the lips are kind of dark and evil. This whole look is kind of like a, a trick, I guess. So yeah, that is how I did this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe and leave your comments down below and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.